Job power, family. B B King, get free or die. All right, they replace your history with religion. Now, before we get started, I ain't seen y'all in a minute. You see what I'm saying? Y'all ain't seen the king in a minute. I'm still here. Okay. Uh, and you know, make sure y'all hit that like bell. The, the, the subscribe and the notification bell because we finna go live like this right here all the time. But y'all got to know when I go live so you got to hit that notification bell and then so people can see it, you hit the like button. Okay? So, uh, this one right here going to be real good, fam. Going to be real good, I'm telling you. And I got another one too. I got another one too. Okay, now, uh, you know, dealing with this subject matter right here, they replace your history with religion. And that's just facts, man, from day one, and we going to deal with this. Black people in the West, in the Western Hemisphere, uh, been told that we had no history. Our history started with slavery. Our history start with slavery. This is what they tell black people in the West. So black people don't never go study their history. They never go study their history. They just read. And the crazy thing is, you know, dealing with your own people and trying to wake them up or whatnot. Y'all see, most of the time, I come hard. <laughs> I come hard and I can't help it sometimes. But this right here is lecture format. You see what I'm saying? A lot of what we do is journalism or whatnot. And we, you know, we put a, you know, a lot of energy into that. You know, we may be bringing you a story or discussing a, a point of view in history or whatever it may be. You see what I'm saying? We Communication is key when it comes to trying to wake each other up or whatnot. You see what I'm saying? And, you, you know, you, you got to go hard all the time. Just 99% of the time. You see what I'm saying? But see, this right here is lecture format. That's why I say hit that little button. Now, hit all them little buttons. Now, listen. I'm Jesus. I'm in with Jesus. I'm by Allah. You see, I'm by Allah. If you want to see, if you want to see, seek to control a people, Give them two lies and let them fight over it. Which is truth? Which one is truth? The Bible and the Quran. And all the other books too. You see what I'm saying? All the other books too. Now let me move it. A good slave is a good Christian. A good slave is a good Christian. Slaves, obey your earthly masters with respect and fear and with serenity of heart just as you would obey Christ. See? Just as you would, would obey Christ. Now listen to this. They done transform your mind you know, to worship them. You see what I'm saying? They, God's earthly masters. I told y'all, you cannot fight the people that you look at as God, man. And you don't even realize that you look uh, at them people's as gods, yo. You still ain't realized it yet. That's my only thing. You still ain't realized it yet. You ain't realized that you worship them people. You see what I'm saying? But you, when they, when they come around, y'all get to talking all like, when we out there by ourselves, niggas like, shoot, sure, da, da, da. they all rowdy and ruckus and we laughing, smoking and shit. Niggas drinking beer, ha, ha, ha. You know what I mean? Wow. And then when, when, when them people come around, your ass go to, yes, sir, sir. Yes, yes sir, sir. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, how you doing? Talking like, talking like them. Talking like your ass is from Britain or something. You see what I'm saying? Talking all proper or whatnot. Forgot all about the Ebonics and shit when they walked up. And see, that's because you still in the mind state of a slave. What does it say? For I move to the next clip. It says a good slave is a good Christian. Slaves, 
This is what they told them. This is why people walking around with their image in their head. Slaves, obey your earthly masters with respect and fear and with serenity of the heart, just as you would obey Christ. See, you see them as the deity. Now, I'm about to prove it to you. Look at this, man. What is it? What is it? What, what is this right here? See, a strong uh, religion is our worst enemy. Religion is our worst enemy at this point in time. A strong, independent, single black woman who don't need a man, all she needs is Jesus. Again, religion is our worst enemy. Who taught you to hate yourself? I told y'all that shit. Like all, I'm, and we're going to deal with that, so I ain't even going to get into it. Look at how she done carved on her face, man. That's why they out here dating all them white boys. They bleaching their skin. They trying to look like the white woman. Man, look how beautiful she was. And now she look like Skeletor. Look at her. This China, black, black China or whatever. Now you white China. Now you white China. The bony face like them white people, bro. Only thing that she kept, kept was her lips. And she changed it a little bit. Poofed them up some more. But see, you want to live in the image of this, of this fake deity right here. Zeus, son and shit. You want to live in this fake image of this white man. Let him braid her hair. And she don't know nothing about the nine eat the naps, man. And, and see, any white boy can grow his hair long and grow a beard, then he Jesus. And they can put on a little white sheet and walk around and, and, and black people will go to praying to him and shit. Like for real, like literally like, or whatever they be saying. <laughs> this is how they do it and shit. And so, you know, being that, you know, again, they slaves and religion is our worst enemy. I'm going to show y'all how to, how they did it. I'm going to show y'all how they did it. Now, these is the mystery, man. I always tell y'all about the mystery, and we're going to get into the mystery. This one of the main mysteries that's holding back the collective group of black people coming together as one. This one thing that's holding it back, the God image. The God image. Worshiping another people, you the only black people in the West is the only people in the world that worship another people. Or black people in the world is the only people that worship another people. Because these niggas doing that shit in Africa too. <laughs> Not everywhere, but they doing that shit in Africa too. And then some of them goofies down there in Guyana and Brazil and in the islands or whatnot. They be down there doing voodoo with the with the with the Roman Catholic uh, deities. What the, what is that? What, what, what is that? Santeria and all this. If you gonna worship the African gods, but put a white man face on it. You see what I'm saying? See, you always, and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you, but you see how they be, uh, chiseling on their face and, uh, uh, putting all that, uh, melanin remove on their skin. They do this, do that because they want to look like Jesus, they God. All right. Now you see why right here. You see Doc, and you see this little goofy fucking Jesus right here, or whatnot. This pastor, he's saying, uh, you know, I got these niggas money. <laughs> I got these the black pastors too. Cleflo Dollar said, <laughs> man, oh man, my 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 uh. Last jet done got old. I need me a new jet. It's gonna cost uh six point three million dollars. So all the black people need to send me three hundred dollars. <laughs> he got that shit from him. He got that shit from him, man. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, T D Jakes and all them, all them got that scam from him promoting the white deal to you whatnot. Of people who now listen to Doc, Dr. John Henry Clark, the Grandmaster Teacher. You see, 
I always keep him prevalent in my teaching. So you know, want to know why I get why I say from here you go. Okay, a people will never be free when they worship a God assigned to them, and they can never respect uh, a assigned to them by another people, and they'll never be able to respect a black father in the home when they uh, have a white father hanging on the wall. I'm reading that again. Listen to that. A people will never be free when they worship a God assigned to them by another people and don't look like them. And they will never respect their black father in the home. Now, I got to stop it right there because I'm a black father. So if you show this white deity, they'll respect white people but won't respect the black man. That's why the deity of, the, of black people the world over got to be black or you going to not respect the black man. And then if you don't respect the black man, won't nobody else respect the black man. And then you see what, what they doing in the uh, Western world, killing off the African people. That just, it's, a, it's that simple. Okay. And then it says, uh, when they have a, they will never bear to respect a black father in the home when they have a white deity on their wall. That just facts. That just facts, Dr. John Henry Clark. Okay. And look at him, all his goofy ass with all that. He in a, look at all that money in his safe. How you think he got it? He got y'all donating. Uh, you might not even go to the service or even go to his church. You just like what he said in Jesus and all that. You just sent them your money. Okay. Again. They hide your history to steal your resources. The Jesus image is only to control your mind, man. That's all that it is. Ja Power said that. See what I'm saying? Ja Power, quote, Ja Power, okay? And then Doc goes on to say, say, Dr. John Henry Clark, he says, with no exception, nothing that ever came from the European mind was, was meant to do anything but facilitate European domination of the world with no exceptions. Okay? Everything come from the European mind it, 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 it for him to facilitate for the, his people, white people, to rule the world. So, just like I said, they hide your history to steal your resources, which I'm going to show, and the Jesus image it's only an image to control your mind. And then look what Doc says. It says, with no exception, there's nothing that ever, there's key, there's, there's, there's nothing that ever came from the European mind that was meant to do anything but facilitate European domination of the world with no exception. All right? Now, now look at this shit. Look at this shit right here. Goofy Negroes break dancing for Jesus. And Jesus say, I'm living my best life, Negroes. I ain't coming back. I ain't coming back. He's two-stepping on y'all way. I'm living my best life, and I ain't coming back. And look at Goofy Negroes in the church. Break dancing in the church. Look at it. Look how, look at how silly they be. They be in there two-stepping. Old women be in there uh, booty shaking and shit. What 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 that what do that got to do with Christianity? What 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 do what do you know the stanky leg got to do with the Christianity? And then I sing, I think it might have been Cleflo Dollar again. He just had all the uh like man I told probably about fifty thousand dollars that people just done threw on the stage and he just trampling on the money. I don't need no money. I got Jesus, I got Jesus, I got Jesus. And then a lady that came up there, she was about to slide her a dollar or two. Like, hold up, baby, leave right there. Jesus ain't gonna like that now. Jesus ain't gonna like that. And she just walked back over there and sit out. He know he gonna pick up that money. Cause he out here promoting that white deity to the black world, especially in America. P promoting that shit to the black world, though. And and that shit make black people docile to white people and make them, I mean, yeah, white people and make them as black people hate themselves. They're just facts. 
That's just fact. That's what a white did to your dupe. I'm, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the break. Goofy Negroes break dancing for Jesus. <laughs> goofies. Whole lot of goofies. Goofy, goofy, goofies. Now, they replaced your history with religion. Okay? They told you, they told black people, if you don't obey me, then you won't get into heaven. See, just like I said earlier, if, if you be a, a good slave, it's a good Christian. See, 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 and obey me as if you obeying Christ. Ain't that what it said? That's in, that's in their own book. That's in their own book. Just like I put up the other day. Oh, uh, what was that? What does the Bible say about, say about pork and shellfish? And these, the, the people that believe in the Bible is the same people that be eating pork and shellfish every day. Every crab bowl, crab bowl. See what I'm saying? Goddamn. Uh, neck bones and pig feet and all that. See? You don't even listen to your own fake deity because you know it's fake. Okay? So they told the black people, say, if you don't listen to me, you ain't getting into heaven. See what I'm saying? And that's what they think is heaven or whatnot. But there ain't no place called heaven in the sky. And if it is, how do you know? Outside of reading it or, or seeing it, there's some European program done put up here to program your way. And oh, they'll hand you one of them pamphlets or something. You see what I'm saying? So you go back uh, 6,000 years before any Bible was ever created. You got the uh, Per Am Heru which the white people call the book of the day. And they found this book, you see what I'm saying, which they call it the book of life or whatnot. And it gives a verse that says, the kingdom of heaven is within. And whoever shall know himself shall find it. You see what I'm saying? That's in the Bible. That's, that's in the Bible. The kingdom of God is within. And this is where the Bible get it from. See what I'm saying? See, you've been taught that you never had a history before slavery. And I'm about to show you why. Because if they ever showed you your history, you will see what they took. See, they took your shit, which I'm going to show and I'm going to get into. They took your shit and then gave you this bullshit called Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. Nigga, see? And y'all run right out there and kill and fight each other about that, all you with family members about them dumb ass religions. And, and, you know, and keep all that ruckus going about, you know, these stupid deities that don't even never existed. And then we show, I'm about to show you the real information, though. I'm about to show you the real information, though. So the kingdom of God is within. And don't forget where you learned that shit from. That shit ain't nothing up in the sky. Yeah, that, that, you know, it don't, it, that don't mean it ain't, but you don't know, or the pastor don't know, don't know none of them books know, because all of that is written by men. Don't nobody know the uh ultimate life uh answers. Don't nobody know that. Don't nobody know that. All right, now, about to get you, okay? So we will pull that right here right now okay so on the top you see the africa that they never show you on tv and see the shit the uh africa in american movies is what you think is real but in reality at the top picture is what majority of 99 percent of the african cities look like today I told you these cities are brand new, 10, 20, 30 years old. This ain't no shit like America where these cities been standing up for 400 and 300 years and they old and crumbly and shit. Buildings be falling down on people all the time in America. Don't let them lie to you. So they done told you about this heaven in the sky. You see, they told you about this heaven in the sky or whatnot so they can hire Africa for you. But I dare you to go look at any Bible. Go look at any Bible, any of that shit. Qurans or any of that shit. 
they talking about Africa. Because, yes, they tricked you too. They tricked you too. There is no such thing as the Middle East, nigga. <laughs> Ain't no such thing as the Middle East. Israel is in Africa. Okay? Okay? See that? See? That's Africa. Arabia, all of that is Africa. That's Northeast Africa. That's them changing it around. So you won't understand. So they won't have to call the Bible land Africa, basically. So when they say the Middle East, you know, where the fuck is the Middle East? It just All they know is in America. That's where them Arabs stay. They don't know where is it. We'll see if they'll say, we go on the bomb in Yemen. Or, I, mean, I ain't going to say Yemen. But if they say, we go on the bomb in Northeast Africa, you will know exactly what they talking about. You will have a problem with that. You will have a problem with that, but by, but, but by using the terminology Middle East, which come from the British, which come from the British, Middle East, because if you look at Middle East and you calculate the latitude and longitude from Britain, you be right there in Arabia. You be, listen to the word, the Middle East. The middle of where? They in Northeast Africa, okay? So then you look at Genesis 17 and 8. It says, and I, I will give unto you thee and to thy seed, seed after thee and the land weren't uh, thou art and, and a strong and all the land of Canaan for the uh, everlasting possession and I will be their God. See what I'm saying? And I'm going to show y'all that in a little bit. Because if you're going to be their God, what gods did they have before you was their God? See what I'm saying? See, see, they brought their God with them. They brought their God with them. That's facts. That's facts. And they sitting up here telling y'all about this, you know, he uh, heaven in the sky and all of this. Uh, Ali, Ali Baba and all this. See? Now, look, just like I said, they telling you about this heaven in the sky. This Jesus and all this as a distraction to, to keep your eyes away from Africa. At the same time, they go into Africa buying land, big ass houses. And you sitting over here living in the projects and they over there getting rich off the gold and the, and the oil off your motherland. And they telling you about. You know, you're going to be free after you die and going to go to this big heaven in the sky and, and kick it with Jesus. And and that's their excuse to keep you looking up while they on the ground ravaging the earth, ravaging the earth. And you looking way up there and shit. Now, look, you see Africa in the uh, right hand bottom corner and you see all the uh, resources of Africa. And then you look at the rest of the world and shit. Africa got more resources than, than all the rest of the world. You see what I'm saying? How do I know that? Because where you see green and dark green and uh, I think yellow, shit like that, most of them, that's food. Now look at all the rest of these countries. You can't eat no oil or none of that. But Africa got more oil, you damn near in the Middle East. You see all that crude oil in Africa? That's why they running over there. That's why they keep telling you uh, Jobo Kenyala said when the white man came to Africa, he had the Bible. He gave you the Bible and you had all the gold, diamonds, and lands. He gave you the Bible and now he got all the gold, diamonds, and lands. See, he had to give you that Jomo Kenyatta. He had to give you a religion to take your mind into space and to make you forget what was going on right here on the ground. Uh -uh on Mother Earth, okay? And then Mama Africa, especially. Because they'll try to tell you to keep you from looking at Africa, then they hit you with that propaganda. Oh, Africans starving. Africans is over there at war. Africans don't like, they hit you with all that propaganda to keep you away from the riches of Africa. Look at the fake ass Middle East. Don't nobody want that shit. The, the United States only want the oil from them. You see what I'm saying? Then you look at uh Europe right there in the uh bottom on the left. They got machinery equipment. The shit to dig was in Africa. 
Then you look at the uh, see they ain't even put North America on here. They got Europe, the Middle East, all that shit. Asia, you see what I'm saying? Western Asia or whatnot. It's South America. See, South America got a little bit of resources. But so these are the two countries, South America and Africa is the two countries that's physically feeding the rest of the world. Literally, physically feeding the rest of the world. Especially Africa. Because if you look at South America, it don't have nowhere near as many colors as the African continent do. You look at all the other places in the world, who got the most colors? That's the most resources, okay? And it'll take me all day to go through all the resources in Africa. Gold, diamonds, palladium, oil, crude oil, textiles, fish, agriculture. I mean, everything. Look at it. I mean, it's just ridiculous. You see what I'm saying? And this is why they're giving you that fake-ass God in the sky to keep you from looking over there. They steal your identity. And I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you that. See this? Y'all got to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and, and, and hit that notification button so you can get these when I start going live. Family, it's going to be very soon. I think it was around, around November 15th, we're going to start going live every week, Thursday at 7 o'clock. Every Thursday at 7 o'clock, starting around the, I think, it's, I think it's either 14th or 15th, whichever the second Thursday or November. We're going to start going live every Thursday night at 7. You see what I'm saying? And they're going to be in lecture form like this. <clears throat> so make sure you hit them notification bells and them thumb up bell. Now, you see the true size of Africa. You could take all the rest of the continents in the world and stick them shits in Africa and still have room. And still have room. Look at the United States, India, Eastern Europe, Western Europe, Spain, France, China, and all Asia, all that shit. Stick that shit right in Africa, and it fit and still has some room. So Africa is the biggest landmass. See what I'm saying? And we're going to deal with some maps, too. We're going to deal with some maps, too, like we did that one night. But we're going to do this shit in lecture form, how we got it right here. <clears throat> and see, over here on the left is the Berlin Conference. Well, Britain, France, all these people that went in there and carved up Africa. You see what I'm saying? And I show y'all the because the, Africa was regional, like the Nook culture, uh, the Syrah culture, uh, uh, the Nubian culture. Shit like that was the name of the so it was regional. Not no little like today they got little small kingdoms or whatnot. You talking about those? When the Europeans came in with this Berlin Conference and saying, start naming, oh, well, this Nigeria. Nigeria just mean a uh, black area. Niger just mean black area. And you, I heard <laughs> a brother from Nigeria say, uh, I'm Nigerian before I'm African. He must think the word Nigeria is some kind of special word or something. See, he must think the word Nigeria come from the word Nook. No, it don't. <laughs> no, it don't. Niger, Nigeria, all that shit mean is a uh, black area. You know, uh, where black people with. That's it. That's it. That's so white people will stay on point. Like, okay, it's a bunch of niggas over that way. You see what I'm saying? That's it. That's it. But in the Berlin Conference, they went in there and broke up Africa into these little... 50 some countries or whatnot, and you be seeing black people in Africa over there arguing about, oh, we the Nigerians, we the uh, South Africans, and all that shit came from them damn white people, period. Period. So they got brothers and sisters on the continent fighting about, you know, uh, this Jesus shit too. So it says, you got religion, they got your, they got the resources from your motherland, but you won't, but you waiting on Jesus. So you got the religion, they got to the, capture the resources of your motherland, but you and you just sitting here waiting on Jesus. And I just told you, Jesus say, I'm living my best life, I ain't coming. Doing the carting on your way. Period. Doing the carting on your way. So what does the Bible and Quran and the Torah say about black people? Okay? What does the Bible 
Torah, uh, Quran and Torah say about black people. Now it says, I cannot beget the fourth son who my children, who, yeah, who my children, who I have gave, gave a uh, order to serve, to serve you and your brothers. Therefore, it must be Cain, the black people. You just seen it. I just showed, I showed it first, the black people. Their firstborn, whom I enslaved. And since you have uh, disenabled me, doing ugly things in the blackest of night, Canaan's children shall be born black and ugly. More, moreover, because you twisted your head around to see my nakedness, your grandchildren hair should be twisted in kinks and their eyes uh hold on and their eyes red again because you're a little jested at my misfortune theirs shall swell and because you neglected my nakedness this is uh uh noah and uh shim you see what i'm saying and he and he telling uh shim uh 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 so called yeah, Shem and uh 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 what's the other one? Whatever. The uh white people would not telling the white people to uh enslave the black people because they he laughed at me when I was drunk or whatnot, cause Noah uh, one of them got naked on the boat cause they were drunk or something. And so the Africans and shit was laughing at his dumb ass and shit. And then so he made, you know, they lip swell and turned them black. And it made them say they listen to this. It says, and because you neglected my nakedness, you shall go naked. And their male members should be shamefully elongated. Okay? Men of this race are called Negroes. And therefore, their forefather Canaan, who loved theft and fornication and banded together of hatred of their masters and swore to never to tell the truth. See what I'm saying? So he's saying that you a liar. He's saying that you, you know, yo, 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 male uh, 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 organs is shamefully elongated. He's saying that this, this is the curse of Ham, which is the curse of Canaan. People say the curse of Ham, but it's really the curse of Canaan. Because Ham is the father of the black race, according to the Bible and the Quran and the Torah. You see what I'm saying? Ham, the, all the black people, uh, Ham is the Egyptians. And everybody come from the Egyptians or whatnot. You see what I'm saying? And these people supposedly, God made them black, which they was already black. So I don't mind which I'm going to show, which I'm going to show. So I don't know who, what God turned us black and made our lips well other than the white God. Okay. Other than, the you know, because he jealous. So that same seem like jealousy to me, though. But this is what the Bible is saying about black people and black people walking around here worshiping this shit, but they don't know about the curse of Ham. They don't understand where to go. Go get you a, a, a earlier Bible or go get you one of them Mormon Bibles. And it's in there. And it's in there. And that's, and that's exactly what it's saying. So listen to this right here. Now look, this is some of the stuff that they stole, okay? This is some of the stuff that they stole. Now, you see right here, uh, you got the uh, Great Seal of the United States, uh, which is 232 uh, years old. And then you got the uh, Ancient Egyptian Horus, which is 6,000 years old. So who got it from who? These people, Freemason ass, goddamn, uh, uh, George Washington, and all them goofies and all that shit, Lincoln and all of them, Went right over there at the Champelion, the French. They was right over there with them. All of them is Freemasons. All of them is Freemasons, fam. Oh, uh, Sir Francis Bacon and shit. See what I'm saying? They went right over there. Look on the back of their money. And I should have put that up here. I should have put that up. Look on the back of the dollar and see what it is. This is the seal of the United States. But they took it from the ancient Egyptians, okay? And then you look, there go proof. You look before is the uh Ethiopian uh Isaac. And then you got the uh 
uh, Ethiopian, after you got the Ethiopian, uh, Jesus, uh, Jesus, <laughs> or Jesus Christos, and Amhari, and then, you know, you got Mary or whatnot, and then you got the white Mary. See what I'm saying? You got the Ethiopian Egyptian, uh, Horus and I said, and then you got the Ethiopian, uh, Jesus Christos, and, uh, Ethiopian, and then you got the, uh, the, uh, the Roman Catholic. So who took from who? Who stole from, man, look at that. That ain't even, that's on, that's on the walls of Egypt thousands and thousands of years ever before any of them damn people was created, man. And y'all sit up here. So all, I'm, I'm going to show you. See, so all they did was steal your history. They stole your history and gave you religion and shit. That's what they done. Watch this. I got you. Look here. So stolen, uh, so stolen, uh, history disguised in black face. I mean, in white face. Stolen history disguised in white face. Look. So on your left, you got uh the Ethiopian Osiris and I said, and then you got uh, uh Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, which 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 was a a copy of the original holy family. The Roman uh Catholic Pope told Michelangelo to create uh a uh, 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 a European holy family. He says there's 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 none that don't exist. He said think of something you will come up with something good. What did Michelangelo do? He went and looked at Egypt, Osiris, Isis, uh, and I uh, uh and uh baby Horus, and he painted it European up in the top of the Roman Catholic Church right now. Just Google it, Google it, Google it. The Vatican City, Google it. Okay. So the ancient Egyptians called again and they said they want their story back. So the ancient Egyptians just called my phone. Where's my phone at? They just called my phone and they say they want they they want what you, hello? What you say, Osiris? Huh? You say say you stole your story. You and Pata. Huh? So so set so set so set and harvest. They, they got that Cain and Abel story. Huh? So yeah, oh I got you. I got I got you. So the ancient Egyptians just called and, and said they want their goddamn story back. Goofy. Throwing up the car right there. Y'all don't know nothing about that. Ain't it? When they come out like this on the football game, that don't mean touchdown. Okay? That don't mean touchdown. Learn your history, black man, black woman. Okay, now. I got to keep rolling. That thing fire. That thing fire. Now black people be talk. That we was illiterate when we came to over here, bro. That means you can't, you know, you can't read, you can't, you can't write. They lie. They straight lie. And I'm going to show you. You see, this right here is the evolving alphabet. And you see, uh, all the way to the left, you got the, the Egyptian uh, hieroglyphics. You got, on the second one, it's Egyptian hieroglyphics. On the third one, it's Egyptian hieroglyphics. They talking about some uh, Phoenician Hebrews. No, the hell it ain't. That's Egyptian. Okay? Then if you look at the uh, so-called Phoenician Hebrews, you got the uh, uh, early Greek, and then you got later Greek, and now you got Roman Latin, which what that's what y'all using today. And the Hebrew that they speaking today is modern. It's modern. That's not no ancient language. That's not no ancient language. Y'all speaking Yiddish. Like them Jews up there from Russia and Germany and shit. You see it? There it is right there. The, and I ain't cracking on my Hebrew Israelite brothers. I'm with you, baby. Uh, to the most high or whatnot. But I'm with you. But that's y'all speaking Yiddish. Okay? Y'all, you speaking Yiddish. The ancient uh, Hebrew Israelites spoke Jews. Okay? Because they came from Ethiopia. Okay? Period. But the language that you speak, the writing system that you use today come from Africa. But they told us we was illiterate. And the same fucking letters and numbers that they use 
came for my ancestors, okay? There go the proof right there. Now, now I said the first doctors, physicians, uh, teachers, scientists was us. Was us. Distant relatives, him and Damon Marley. Then I had to quote Nas right there. So the first physicians and doctors and nurses and all that shit was us. And this is what he was talking about. Now this right here is in the, I don't forgot what tomb it's in. I don't want here you go right here. It's in the uh this the surgical tools on the wall at the Temple of Colombo. You see what I'm saying? And these are modern tools. Or what they call modern tools. These are really ancient tools that they copied off the walls of Egypt. Period. There it is right there. It looked exactly the same as it did then, as it did today. So it's not modern medicine, it's ancient medicine. Now, if them pharmaceutical companies gave you your damn history, how much money would every hospital owe you? Because every hospital in the world, Craig, got these motherfucking tools right here. How much money do they owe the black nation for that? Huh? Y'all make sure y'all put that this glyph and shit right here in the reparation package, nigga. Talking about we was illiterate. How? And we taught you whoever, whatever black man or... African man or whatnot. Talk to white boy how to speak, how to talk, how to walk. We ought to find your ass. We ought to kick his motherfucking ass. <laughs> Straight up. We ought to find him and put a good whooping on him, man. Period. Y'all shouldn't have done. You should have just kept walking all, letting him walk on all fours. And I'm going to show you why later on. Okay? Okay? And I'm, there go the proof. Here go all the surgical instruments that we use today. That we use today. Okay? Y'all go do look that up and do that information. Now, I'm about to go in now. I'm about to go in now because this is the part I'm waiting on. We about to go in. We ain't on. We on. Huh? Come on back. Nope. You ain't going nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. Okay. Now. Every Christian, Jew, Muslim, Buddhist, Hindu, Shinto, all these people in their prayers with the uh, Amen. Every religion in their prayers with Amen. Well, this is the black guy, Amen. See, so you, you see, you praying to a black guy, but you got a white image up there. But then you go read the Bible and shit. It say the man got hair like wool, uh, bronze, burnt skin. Now, you take any metal, I don't care what it is, platinum, and stick it in the fire and come back out what color. It ain't brown. It ain't, ain't brown. It ain't tan. It ain't white. That shit black, period. So, the Bible, and then it say, uh, you made... In the image of God. And you look up there and see a white man and you black and shit. See, this the confusion and shit they got black people in. But you never seen a black God before. But you praying to one. And that's what you said at the end of all your prayers. Why you don't say Allah at the end of your prayers? Why you don't say Jesus at the end of your prayers? Why you don't say goddamn Buddha at the end of your prayers? Why you saying Amen? Because... They stole black people history and gave your ass religion, dummy. Okay? And I, I got to say it like that. I got to say it like that, family. But that's going to prove right there. Every Christian, every Jew, every Muslim, every Buddhist, every Shinto motherfucker, I don't care what it is, you got your religion from the ancient African. That's going to prove right there. If not, don't say amen tonight. I bet you won't say your prayers without saying the great God Amen from ancient Africa. He the God of the South. <laughs> See, you praying to a black God, but you got a white deity up there. That's how confused you is. And I'm about to prove it to you too. I'm about to prove it to you too. Now, again, family, uh, the, November the 14th, live. I want to see some the $100 donations. Ain't nobody. I'm the gate. I'm the, I, see, I'm the gate in the portal between the Americas and Africa. 
Cause ain't nobody up here teaching what I'm teaching, period. So I'm the gay, I'm the portal and shit. I'm the, you see, you know, I'm the wizard. If I wanna, if I'm, 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 I'm Saint Peter, I'm Tahuti and shit. If I wanna let you in the pearly gates, you gonna get there. If not, you just ain't gonna get there, man. Cause there ain't nobody teaching this shit how I'm doing it. Look, stolen legacy. Everybody go get the book, stolen legacy by George G. M. James, family. All right. So you look at Moses right here at the top and these so-called tablets that he got, that he said God handed them down to him. That's a fake story because here go the original ones right here and it don't got Hebrew on it. It don't got Hebrew on it. it got, and then it said Moses walked down uh, Mount Sinai, which is in Egypt, and Moses is the Egyptian. With 619 of these tablets. I mean, you know, you see how thick that uh, 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 rock is? <laughs> you see how thick that rock is? That's granite. You're not going to be able to walk down there with 613 of them, even if you incredible hope. Okay, so that's a lie. Boom, daddy, I'm showing you. Everybody go get George Jim James Stolen Legacy right now. Hit Google. Uh, 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 what this? Amazon. Soon as we get off here. All right. The biblical characters never existed, whether it's Jesus, Mary, Moses, uh, Lucifer, the devil, Adam and Eve, Satan. The Bible is a uh, all metaphorical, analogical, allegorical, symbolic, fake ass, mythological book. Okay, and that's you know coming from the black god Osiris. That just all that it is. That just all that it is. And see, Osiris is you, as I read to you early. The kingdom of heaven is within, according to my book and yours. But where your book get it from? Where your book get it from? See? Now, I want to read this for y'all, because I'm about, like, this about to be fire right here. So, uh, Jesus said, uh, in Joshua 24 and 14, he says, now, therefore, fear the Lord and serve him in serenity and in truth and put away the gods which your fathers served on the other side of the flood in Egypt and serve me, the Lord. What were those gods that he talking about that your forefathers had before this flood? See, they're using the flood to wipe out black people history. And they creating a, a fake history to can you know to can, you know that they control so they can put whatever in it they want. They use it the story to control your mind. But the black guy uh Amen says, Know thyself and never forget. Know thyself and never forget. See, they they Jesus is saying, uh Forget about the gods of your forefathers on the other side of the flood in Egypt, Africa. Forget about them gods before slavery and all that shit. Serve me the Lord, the white man. See, remember the first slide? It said, uh, a good slave is a good Christian. See, that's what it said. And see, the black guy, I mean, is telling you, know thyself and never forget. Never forget, never forget, never worship another people, never, you know, sell your blackness out for nothing. Not they got, not nobody, not nobody, because that's all you got at the end of the day. Period, period. Bur black first, second, and goddamn third. I don't give a fuck who it is. All right, now. Uh, Serapis. So uh, we gonna talk about the Council of Nasir in 325 AD. You got Serapis, uh, 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 uh Greco Roman Serapis, and then he handed the baton down to Jesus, like I told y'all before. And they created all this shit in 325 AD at the Council of Nasir, Constantine. Go look it up, Constantinople, and over there in Turkey, over there in Turkey, okay. And so you look at the bottom left, it says the crucified 16 saviors. So uh, 
is that Kirstie Gray's uh the uh 16 crucified saviors. Y'all go get that book. Go get that book. And this is fact. You see, it got every day, every deity on it. But you see the deity that's first. See, is uh Horus, the Horus King. And I'm gonna show you that he is right here. He performed miracles. He was called the God, uh, the Lamb of God, the light, the crucified. And he was crucified, uh, died for three days, and was resurrected. Uh Horus was also born on December 25th. He was born of a virgin birth to the Eastern Star. Uh, three kings adorned uh, his birth, and he was a teacher and a minister. Who do that sound like? Who do that? Now, Horus, 4,500 years ago, that means he's 6,520. So this 6,520 years ago, then you look at Jesus, 2,000. Who got it from who? So at the Council of Nicaea, they told uh, one of the Ethiopian uh, bishops, I think it was Aaron, to come to the meeting or whatnot. And Aaron like, he gives word that Constantine and all them was plotting to kill him because he was up there at the lag. Because this, man, they got the council of Jambia and all that. I know what I'm talking just like they went on arguing about this for 921 years. Shout out to Walter Williams. They argue about uh, who was the deity, you know, what the, what was the story. And people, they was arguing at the all these councils or whatnot for 921 years. Then they finally settled on, okay, we're going to copy the uh, Egyptian Horus virgin birth story and call it Jesus, put a white man face on it. That's all that they done. That's all that they done. They're going to poop right there, okay? So look, peep this right here, right? Peep this, and I ain't going to go. I'm going to step back. Hold on. Yeah. Peep this right here. It says, they replaced your, your history with religion. Now, he God and you the devil. Listen to this. They replaced your history with religion. Now, he God and you the devil. When in, re in reality, and originally, we was God and he the devil. But if you look at these photos, he done... See the black devil right there? He pointing at your ass. Stay in your place, boy. Slave, obey your master. And now you see he's Zeus and shit. Walking around here on the earth. Getting all the black women. Keep it real. That's your facts. Why? Because they associate the white man with the white deity. That's your facts. That's your fact. Whether you, it's in your conscious mind or not. It might be subconscious, okay? It might be in your subconscious. I'm coming in a minute. Hold on. All right, family. Now, this is the last slide right here. And I'm going to end on this one. You've been told that you don't have a history. They lie. Quote John Power. Because from jump, they done told all the black people in the West that they never had a history. That they never had a history. And in reality, it's the other way around. So you look at Africa, 3000 BC. And then you look at the brothers right there. Because they'll tell you some aliens and, you know, slaves and all this crazy shit. Went up there and built the pyramids. Just so they won't have to say, black people done it. Because they try to keep you at a minimum. And there it is. You see the brothers building the shit right there. Don't nobody never show this right here. Because they want to keep your mind in the sky. Ooh, how these great Mayim has been built. God done it. The aliens did it. Still keeping you in the sky floating while they down here calling themselves archaeologists and Egyptologists digging up your ancestors, Negro. That's what they doing. And you all in the sky talking. 
the aliens, you up there talk about Mars, you up there talk about heaven, and you talk about Jesus, you all in the everywhere, but right here on earth, Negro, you flying way too goddamn high, okay, now you look at Europe, 3000 BC, at the same time, the, the same time the African is a god, king, rich, building pyramid. These motherfucking peoples is Fred Flintstone and shit at the exact same time. And then they try to tell you, and when they show the Greek, they try to show him with them little gold leaves around his head, you know, with them little white loin claws on, just like them people from the Bible. Just like them people from the Bible, which is a lie though. Them people was walking on all fours, as you can see. As you can see. Then they, their ice age finally melted, and they came into the warmer climate, climates. And they, when they came out the warmer climates, when they was in them cold climates, you see, they, they got all their fur on their body like the Sasquatch, okay? Is that fair to say? Well, their history right here, I didn't make this shit. I'm just showing it to you. So at the same time, the African at his peak, or the black people is at their peak, not fighting and arguing. We know we on the same page. These motherfuckers is the Fred Flintstone Sasquatch out there making campfire. And when that ice melted, they came down into the warmer regions and got to fucking with all the black people. That's just facts. They come from up there in Russia, past the goddamn Caucasus Mountains. Because when you look at the Caucasus Mountains, it's still kind of, in certain times of the year, it's still green. But if you look up by past Russia and shit, that shit all ice. And that's where they really come from. That's where them holes in the hills and shit is. You see what I'm saying? Where the Yeti live, nigga. The Yeti ain't nothing but one of them. But it came down up out of there in the African, the Egyptian. Uh, Delbert Blair said it took them uh three generations to even get one to uh understand how to learn and understand how to walk on all on two feet because they was on all fours. That just facts. And he done he done hid your history away from you and gave you this fake ass religion, saying he God and you ain't nothing but a damn savage. And you make songs and shit all day talking about we savages and all that shit. And you wonder why they killing you. You fell right into the rabbit hole. You fell right into their trap. That's what happened. Yes, you did. You fell right into their trap. That's what happened. Family, stop falling for this goofy. They only using them European images to control your mind. You have to get back and know that the, the, the God is within. And then you will have the confidence of a thousand lions, just like me. But see, you're not going to know that if you're not out here studying and shit. See, that's why y'all got to hit that like button. Hit them notification bells. You see I'm starting to heat up a little bit around here. You see I'm starting to heat up, and this what these lives going to be like. We'll try to keep them down to about an hour, hour and a half. You see what I'm saying? That way we can do more. You know what I'm saying? Then we might do, you know, two, three of them a week. You know what I'm saying? But for right now, they're going to be every Thursday at 7 o'clock. Jump out! Get free or die.